Have you ever watched a film that left a lasting impact on your perspective? If so, you might be able to relate to the timeless classic, 55 Days of Peking. This 1963 movie, directed by Nicholas Ray, tells the gripping story of a diverse group of international diplomats and soldiers defending a besieged foreign compound during the Boxer Rebellion in China. It's a tale of bravery, diplomacy, and the human spirit in the face of adversity. Before we delve into some intriguing facts about the film, we'd like to hear from you. Can you share a personal story of how this movie has inspired or impacted your life? Or, when was the first time you watched this movie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's explore some random facts about 55 Days at Peking that you might find fascinating. Did you know that the film's production faced numerous challenges, from extreme weather conditions to the death of its original director, who was replaced by Nicholas Ray? Despite these hurdles, the movie successfully brings to life a significant historical event with a talented cast, including Charlton Heston and Ava Gardner. So, whether you're a longtime fan or new to this cinematic masterpiece, 55 Days at Peking continues to leave a mark on audiences. Share your thoughts and cherished memories below, and let's keep the conversation going. Producer Samuel Bronston constructed a set representing turn-of-the-century Peking, China and Madrid, Spain at a cost of $900,000 for the 1963 movie 55 Days at Peking. This massive set was a crucial element in bringing the historical events to life on the big screen. It allowed the film to recreate the iconic setting of the Boxer Rebellion with impressive detail, contributing to the movie's overall authenticity. The film showcases the tense and dramatic events surrounding the siege of the foreign legations in Peking during the Boxer Rebellion. The attention to detail in building this set helped transport the audience back to that pivotal moment in history. This fact underscores the dedication and resources invested in making 55 Days at Peking an epic historical film. The elaborate set construction in Madrid was a significant part of bringing the movie to the screen and it remains a testament to the commitment of the filmmakers to recreate history faithfully. The production of the 1963 movie 55 Days at Peking was marked by significant changes and challenges. One notable fact is that the original cameraman, Aldo Tanti, had to step down shortly before shooting began. He found the elaborate sets constructed at Bronston Studios in Madrid, Spain, to be unsuitable for capturing the director's vision. Jack Hildyard replaced him as director of photography, ensuring the film's visual quality. Additionally, Charlton Heston and David Niven, two of the film's stars, brought in their own screenwriters to enhance their characters. They added a sequence in which they blow up a Chinese armory to make Niven's character, Sir Arthur Robertson, appear more heroic. Moreover, the film's inception itself is intriguing. Producer Samuel Bronston had originally started building sets for the fall of the Roman Empire in 1961. However, Charlton Heston's preference for a Boxer Revolution epic led to the sets being torn down, and a brand new Peking backlot was constructed on the outskirts of Madrid, Spain. These behind-the-scenes insights shed light on the complexities and adaptations involved in bringing 55 Days at Peking to the screen, making it a compelling historical film. It's a testament to the dedication of the filmmakers to recreate history faithfully, despite the challenges they faced. During the opening scene of the 1963 movie 55 Days at Peking, the camera focuses on the Spanish flag for a few seconds. Some viewers have speculated that this was due to the film being shot in Spain during Francisco Franco's regime. However, there was indeed a Spanish legation in Peking during the Boxer Rebellion, although it played a limited role, much like the Dutch and Belgian legations. This explains why the film references 11 foreign powers, but only names eight nations. Charlton Heston, one of the film's stars, noted in his diaries that the movie's set was so massive that he suggested letting Orson Welles use it for a spy thriller simultaneously. Interestingly, some parts of the set remained unused during filming. As the production of 55 Days at Peking faced challenges, it became so strapped for extras and equipment that they had to borrow them from the concurrent filming of Lawrence of Arabia in Almeria and Seville. These behind-the-scenes insights add layers to the making of 55 Days at Peking and the unique circumstances of its production. The 1963 movie 55 Days at Peking was a massive production, 
with a budget of over $9 million and the use of 6,500 extras. This epic historical film, directed by Nicholas Ray, focused on the Boxer Rebellion and the events surrounding the Siege of Foreign Legations in Peking. The film's attention to detail and dedication to recreating history faithfully made it a significant cinematic endeavor. Despite facing challenges such as the replacement of the original cameraman and the need to borrow extras and equipment from the concurrent filming of Lawrence of Arabia, the filmmakers remained committed to bringing this historical epic to the screen. 55 Days at Peking ranked as the 20th highest grossing movie of 1963, further highlighting its impact and success in the film industry. However, the production was not without its share of difficulties, as some behind-the-scenes issues, like Ava Gardner's struggles and Charlton Heston's preference for a boxer revolution epic, added complexity to the making of the movie. In conclusion, 55 Days at Peking stands as a testament to the dedication and resources invested in bringing a pivotal moment in history to life on the big screen. Its significant budget, use of thousands of extras, and high grossing in 1963 solidify its place in the history of cinema. This movie was shot in Spain and needed hundreds of Chinese extras, and the company sent scouts throughout Spain and the rest of Europe to hire as many Asian-looking actors and actresses that they could find. The casting web in 1962 reached as far as London, Lyon, and Marseille. So the result was that many Chinese restaurants in those cities closed for the summer 1962 during filming because the restaurant staff, often including the restaurant's owners, was hired away by the movie company. The company hired so many that for several months, there was scarcely a Chinese restaurant to be found open in Spain and those three other cities. The production of the 1963 movie 55 Days at Peking was a massive undertaking that required a vast number of Chinese extras. The search for Asian-looking actors and actresses extended to multiple European cities, including London, Lyon, and Marseille. This extensive casting effort had a notable impact as it led to the temporary closure of many Chinese restaurants in these cities during the summer of 1962. The film's demand for extras was so significant that it left a noticeable absence of Chinese restaurants in Spain and the mentioned European cities during that time. This behind-the-scenes insight sheds light on the extensive efforts made to bring authenticity to the movie's portrayal of turn-of-the-century Peking during the Boxer Rebellion. As we draw the curtains on this cinematic journey, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on your personal connection with the 1963 classic, 55 Days at Peking. This epic tale of valor, love, and sacrifice amidst the tumultuous backdrop of the Boxer Rebellion has left an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of viewers like you. Perhaps you were captivated by the stirring performances of Charlton Heston, Ava Gardner, and David Niven, or maybe the grandeur of the film's historical setting transported you to a bygone era. 55 Days at Peking is more than just a movie, it's a window into the past, a testament to human resilience, and a reminder of the power of unity in times of adversity. Now, I encourage you to share your favorite memories or thoughts about this cinematic gem. Did it inspire you, move you, or make you ponder the complexities of human nature? Whether it's a cherished scene, a powerful quote, or a personal connection you have with the film, your perspective adds another layer to the rich tapestry of this cinematic masterpiece. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic odyssey and for sharing your thoughts and memories with us. Your unique perspective enriches our collective understanding of this remarkable film. We look forward to hearing from you. Until next time, keep the reel of your memories spinning.